Okay, I was just uh, going to say that I, I talked to the people at Utrema Solutions, um, and it was interesting. They had a transducer that they called an actuator that seemed really powerful, uh, but they're expensive. It's like two grand for the thing or something. Um, and they basically have three models depending on their throw and the throw is anywhere from 50 microns to 150 microns which is really small but the, there's a lot of it's really strong I guess is the best way to put it so it, it can it can move a lot of material it sounds like they're they have more they can move more uh, they can produce more force than uh, the Clark synthesis transducers but if you compare force Per dollar, I don't know if they would really be, you know, just they didn't really have that many any concrete specs. I mean, we were trying to ballpark it, and the guy he like had this 100 micron throw actuator, and he just like held it in his hand and held it up to, you know, the end that is supposed to connect to a bolt. He like held that up to this this railing they had that was really part of a low wall, you know, with a great big like two by eight ray wood top and he held it up to that top rail and so something pretty solid and all of a sudden the whole thing will like came alive and you could really feel the vibrations even like four feet down um so it, it seemed pretty darn powerful and he didn't have it even close to the limit he said he had a current of about two amps going through it and uh, it could handle maybe eight or something i don't know uh and i don't know what volts they were running so it yeah, I don't know if that was straight from the wall, so, wow, that would be a lot of bullets. But anyway, anyway, so, uh, not quite sure how it would compare. It seems like it may be about the same. If it was as powerful as, like, six of the Clark Synthesis Platinums, you know, that would be, like, uh, $2,400 for those, and that'd be about the price, I think, of the 100 micron throw actuator. But, of course, then you have the problem of having a single actuator where you can, as with a Clark synthesis, you could distribute it over a lot more. And, and there seem to be other issues, too, because the material basically has no tensile strength, he said, so it's very brittle and, and can easily break. Uh, it can break if it's allowed to extend too much uh, just by using it or, or, you know, bring too much current through it or, or if there's, like, pressure on it or if you have... Because I was talking about using these actuators as like legs for the waterbed and um, for the PRE table. And they, they said, they, they felt like, yeah, you could do that. But then if somebody jumped on the waterbed, it might break the things. Um, so they suggested just having them hanging. And of course, they're a lot longer. They're about a foot long, I think. Uh, which, with my design, I'd have to make the bed a little taller to do that, which is not that big of a deal, but... Um, yeah, so, seems to be about the same price performance wise as far as I can tell now, uh, but I may be off. It may only be powerful as two of the, of the Platinums. I mean, it, it's hard to really compare without doing a strict A-B test, you know, A-B comparison. So, um, at this point I'm just going to... You know, I'm waiting for my second Clark synthesis transducer to come in. And I'll try to optimize the system as much as I can for just two of those. And I'll see how it goes. If I really feel like I need more, I mean, it's going to be more cost effective for me to just add a couple more Clark synthesis transducers. And, uh, you know, then I'm pretty confident. Man, if I got four of these things going, uh, yeah, I better be darn close anyway, too. I, it's going to have to be pretty darn close, too what I need. So uh, that's just wanted to let you know what the results were after I talked to the Utrema people. And I'll put a link up to their site, but you know, it seems like they're a small startup type company, even though they've been around since like 1985. Uh, they, you know, they say they don't have any hardcore specs for their stuff and you know, I don't know, it's just, and you, you don't really get the impression that there's any kind of warranty or anything. So if you buy something for two grand and break it, well, then you're SOL and and yeah, so I don't know. At this point, I don't seem too excited about it, but uh, 
you know, down the road if we need something that uh, the Clark synthesis transducers just can't do and other transducers just can't do or other actuators, you know, then maybe we'll look them up. But uh, until then, that's the word. Thanks.